Um, before we close, Honorable Minister Sir, we had a session for women and we delayed and delayed it thinking that you will come before we finish the session knowing that you are an advocate of women's rights knowing that you are a protector of women knowing that you are an uplifter of women knowing that you insist on capacity building that is not based on any gender knowing that you are very very sensitive when it comes to the case of women they came to report to you that um, some of us our husbands do not allow us to enroll some of us our husbands do not allow us to participate some of us our husbands do not allow us to take advantage full advantage of the platform you have so tirelessly provided for us in order for us and our children to thrive we wanted to report to you but since you have come now i am speaking on behalf of all the women your excellency sir this is our problem and we know that you are a solutions provider to every problem have i spoken your minds okay so on that note your excellencies distinguished ladies and gentlemen it is my pleasure and honor to call on our chief, on our chief host, the convener of the first ever regional digital economy conference, our leader, our mentor, our boss. <laughs> <laughs> so do i have permission to properly present your credentials because it's official and we are closing may i call on the honorable minister of communications and digital economy nigeria fellow chartered institute of information security Fellow British Computer Society, fellow Nigeria Computer Society, chartered IT expert, chartered computer scientist, chartered information technology, cybersecurity expert. <laughs> Nigeria's Minister of Communications and first ever of digital economy, Professor Isa Ali Ibrahim Pantami to give us the closing remarks and the vote of thanks. You are most welcome, sir. My colleagues, ministers from uh, African, West African countries, other senior government officials from uh, West African countries, chief executive officers, and also board chairmen and members of uh, the parastatals under the supervision of uh, the Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy. Other stakeholders here are present. Ladies and gentlemen of uh, the press, all other protocols duly and respectfully observed. Good afternoon to all of you. And uh, may peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you. Permit me to begin by clarifying to you that I was not here in the morning. 
because I had to attend the Federal Executive Council meeting being chaired by the President of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR. So I had to be in the council chamber from uh, around 9 a.m. up to around 2 p.m. It was after the council meeting that I had to immediately rush to this very important conference. Secondly, permit me also to use the opportunity to appreciate all of you for honoring our invitation to be part and parcel of uh, the maiden edition, the inaugural edition of uh, the Digital Economy Regional Conference for West African countries. This is indeed historic, and I'm glad that you are part and parcel of uh, this historic conference. Most importantly, my colleagues, the ministers, that have uh, attended the conference in person, I appreciate all of you for creating time out of no time to be here. Uh, your effort in honoring this invitation is highly appreciated. On behalf of my humble self, and most importantly on behalf of my principal president, Muhammad Buhari, I want to use the opportunity to extend his appreciation to your presidents for allowing you to come to Nigeria and attend this conference physically. Furthermore, as earlier presented by one of our colleagues here, that uh, around 681 people attended the conferences, uh, the conference from 15 countries. This is indeed highly commendable, particularly looking at the caliber of people in attendance. The people that have attended mostly are policy makers. They exercise the power of their presidents in coming up with policies to be implemented in the digital economy sector. So by implication, looking at the caliber of people in attendance is a justification that the decisions we have taken here, the resolutions we have attained here are going to be implemented in our countries. In addition, as we all know the benefits of our attending conference are many, but among the most important benefits, number one is networking. Some of us are meeting here for the first time. It allows you to get networked with your colleagues, with other experts, government officials, policy makers, industry players from our sub-region. Networking is key. All over the world, digital economy is not developed in silos. The only way you develop it is through networking, sharing your experience, transfer of knowledge, transfer of technology as the case may be. So this is an opportunity for us to network. And indeed, I believe that has been achieved, particularly during the networking session yesterday afternoon up to evening. Part of also the benefits of attending conference like this is also to allow sharing of our experience, which, or let me put it, mentorship. If your colleague in another West African country has implemented a policy, in the course of doing that, he could have up to 120 benefits or gains from implementing the policy. But in the process of that, most probably, he made one or two mistakes. If he shares his experience with you, he will guide you to avoid making the mistakes he has committed in the course of being the pioneer of uh, implementing that policy. So mentorship is key. And mentorship could be two-way traffic. You could mentor me in an area where you have the expertise over the implementation. And I can also mentor you in another area where I have the experience of implementing it. 
So your mentor could be your mentee in some regards and also your mentee could be your mentor in some areas. So this is another area where the panel I coordinated yesterday, most of the ministers spoke on their initiatives in their countries. And I think this will go a long way in helping our colleagues and other stakeholders in minimizing some mistakes to be committed. And also industry players spoke here and they shared their experience with us. It allows government officials to know the challenges being confronted by the private sector. And this is very important. And bring, coming up together here is another implementation of uh, the triple helix model as part of our communique uh, read by uh, the, my colleague Dr. Femi Adelui, where it allows the constant interaction between government, industry, and uh, academia. Both, uh, all of them are represented. Government officials are here, industry players are here, academics are here representing the academia. So Triple Helix model is all about constant interaction and fusion between government, industry players and academia. And I believe in this gathering, I have met many government officials at even higher level, some from uh, academia, uh, professors from academia are here, industry players, including chief executive officers of uh, international companies are also here. So this is indeed very encouraging that even in the gathering it allows us to formally and informally interact together and share <coughs> our experience, our suggestions and also observations. Furthermore, I do hope that uh, our participants from uh, other West African countries have used the opportunity to go around our beautiful city of Abuja, particularly to test our local food here in Nigeria is very important. That is why I strongly recommend to the team organizing this on our behalf to ensure that they have included some of our local dishes so that uh, you will test it. And by doing that, I believe if you are yet to get married, then definitely you will be able to find your spouse in Nigeria. One advantage of, uh, one advantage of Nigeria, both male and female do cook. I can cook food. Any male you see here, most probably he can cook excellently. And the same with our females, they are top notch when it comes to cooking. So whether you are male or female, if you get married to a Nigerian, definitely you will be able to continue eating our local and traditional dishes as we have them in Nigeria. And by implication, I have answered the question of uh, uh, Uwa Suleiman, that uh, whenever they plan to do something, their husbands certain deny them or discourage them. I do hope that statement has uh, already answered the question, but tactfully, when you think deeply, you will understand exactly what I mean. However, let me also be somehow superficially open in answering the question, because most probably my family follows the event online and I don't want to go home and discover that the weather is not safe for landing <laughs> and I will be in trouble. So I am pleading with my colleagues, the male counterpart, please allow them to build their career. Support them to continue to develop. This is indeed very important. And if you fail to do that, and I do hope that your wife will report you to me. And I will report you to my president, President Muhammad Buhari. And this is very important. So please take note. Allow your wife to continue to build her career. This is very important. The way we try to be productive, let us allow our family to also be very productive. Otherwise, if you are progressing and your wife is static, you will discover that sometime, a time will come where there is no even compatibility between both of you. So it is important as we grow up, let us pull them to 
also grow up with us. This is indeed very important. And I hope I have answered the question openly now. So once again, thank you very much for honoring the invitation. I wish all of you a very successful trip back to your country. We are thankful. We are most appreciative. And we do hope that uh, these engagements will continue from time to time. And when we invite you next time to be in Nigeria, I do hope that you will honor our invitation and be here physically. And I also use the opportunity to appreciate the CEO of uh, Smart Africa for also honoring the invitation to be part and parcel of uh, the event. Once again, thank you all for being here. We are proud of you that you are a member of the digital economy family in West Africa. In the digital economy family, we consider ourselves the same. And we also believe there is no monopoly of wisdom and knowledge. We will continue to learn from you. We will continue to learn from your experience. And all our doors are open also to share our policies, our initiatives in Nigeria for our colleagues in West Africa for their consideration and also for their implementation. Once again, thank you very much for listening. May the Almighty bless all of you. Safe journey back to your country. Thank you for listening. So, uh, thank you very much for listening. Merci de votre attention. Thank you. Can every woman in this hall give the Honorable Minister a standing round of applause, standing ovation? And every man who will allow his wife to go and enroll, standing ovation for the Honorable Minister. Thank you very much. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, just a little announcement. If you're from Niger, we want to assure you that the name has been inserted into the communique. So don't be worried. Everything